Hey guys, it's Kawaii Sweet World, and today we're making a baked French toast for Mother's Day. This is so good and easy to make, so let's get started. First, I'm going to slice a loaf of sweet French bread into one inch slices, and I just got this from the grocery store bakery. Then I'm going to cut each slice into one inch cubes. And this doesn't have to be perfect, something like this is just fine. Now I'm just going to place all the cubes into a greased 9 by 13 inch baking dish. And then set this aside while we make the cream mixture. For this cream mixture you're going to start off with 8 eggs. It seems like a lot of eggs, but it's really going to help hold our French toast together. Now add in 2 cups of milk. Half a cup of heavy cream. 3 quarters cup of white sugar. And finally, two tablespoons of vanilla extract. Again, this is going to seem like a lot of vanilla extract, but it's going to give our baked French toast a lot of really good flavor. And then just whisk everything together. Now you can just pour this mixture over your bread and just let it all soak in. I like to use a spoon to make sure every piece is coated. This is a great recipe because you can make it the night before refrigerate it overnight, and then bake it in the morning. In the meantime, we can make our streusel topping. You'll need a half a cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of brown sugar, and a heaping teaspoon of cinnamon. Then take a fork and mix it all together. Now I'm going to cube up some cold butter. It's really important that your butter is cold for this to work. And just dump this into your cinnamon sugar mixture. Now I'm taking a pastry cutter and just starting to cut in the butter. You could also use two knives or a fork to do this. And eventually you'll have a crumbly mixture like this. Then cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate until you're ready to bake. The next morning or whenever you decide to bake your French toast, go ahead and take it out of the fridge and remove the plastic wrap and just start to sprinkle on your streusel topping. It looks like a lot of sugar, but it's really gonna sink into the bread and create a nice cinnamon flavor. So just bake at 350 for about 50 minutes to an hour. And now here is our beautiful French toast out of the oven. This is really like a bread pudding French toast, and it would be so good with apples or raisins too. I promise that if you serve this to mom with a glass of milk and some flowers, she is definitely going to love it. And you can see the top is nice and crispy, but the center stays nice and custardy and bready and it's so delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share your creations with me on Facebook or on my Instagram Kawaii Sweet Eats with the hashtag Kawaii Sweet World, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.